Hello friends, hope you are doing well and welcome back to Nova Tech videos and in today's topic we will talk about the Azure AD users. So how to manage the Azure AD users we are going to discuss in detail. So let's get started. So I just logged on to Azure portal. So this is my tenant and uh, here you have to go to Azure Active Directory. So users are uh, 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 important part you know, to manage and uh, managing all the users from on-prem or Azure site or administrator that is pretty much important so here I have just arrived to the Microsoft Azure Azure Active Directory and uh, here you can see in the manage users uh, click on users and this is very nice view you can see here so here are uh, some accounts which are synced from the on-prem uh, from my on-prem AD or some of the users are guest accounts so you can see here on premises how many accounts are synced from on-prem and uh, how many we have guest user accounts so for example this user account this is synced from Azure AD you can see here on premises and this account uh, is the guest account or I have created on Azure AD site so if I open any account okay so this is the account admin I created and this is my domain the custom domain and if I added the properties so we can manage or modify the multiple prop properties over here so some options are grayed out because we can modify those properties either from on-prem so identity job description contact information parent parental control and then settings and on premises so on premises sync enable that is true so these are the properties we can modify so you can download the complete user list or all the users uh, from here by clicking on this download users and this is for the bulk operations so you can create users in bulk you can send invite in bulk and then you can also delete in bulk so we will talk more about how to uh, run the bulk operations then here we have the refresh uh, button here then manage view so we can add it columns so if I want to add more columns likewise if I need some more details the company creation date or I want to add anything as attributes so I can modify so added columns add account is enabled or not so I can select for any attributes from here like uh, other emails uh, that will showcase on the screen itself you can see other emails tab is there and next is delete so you have to select any account if you want to delete or the select multiple accounts if we have more numbers or the plenty of users to delete 
and next is per user MFA so this is something related to multi-factor authentication so if I click on that it will route to the different page and here we can see whether the multi-factor authentication that is enabled or not so for me uh, this is disabled because I have not created or configured any conditional access policy also I have not taken any license yet so here you can see note only user li license to use Microsoft online services are eligible for multi-factor authentication so for this uh, the license is required and uh, next option is uh, preview features so the following features are available on for your evaluation so there is nothing much yes we can do the auditing here and the portal itself you know how many users logged on so we can modify this last 24 hours report if you want to look at so we have this visibility we can customize it for any uh, period if you want to check the logs audit logs who logged down to what so we can do that then sign in logs so here we have the sign in logs for last seven days who or which user signed in from which devices and it was successful or failed so that report is there then we have the deleted users so if we delete any users uh, from the users list that will appear in the uh, deleted users review so here we have the password reset so we will discuss more about the password reset policies and then we have the default setting here so our agenda is to create the new users so let's click on this so we have two options create create new users and invite external users so this is the guest account and this is the account we will create uh, in our tenant so let's click on that so create users so I'm creating like Ganesh R oh, this will be and here we have the custom domains so I have two domains so I'm selecting here so if you have multiple they will appear here only all the domains so you can pick or select any domain you have to give the first name Ganesh and first name that is Ganesh and last name R so we have some other fields so auto generate password or we can select the password so I'm going to select the password so enter the password and here we have groups and roles so if you want to add this user to any of the group search the group you can do it here itself or later on you can do this and if you want to assign any roles the azure ready roles you can select any role and uh, the role will be assigned and this is also you can you can do that later if you want to assign any role so here are some settings block sign in so you can s block the sign ins so that user cannot sign in so I'm not denying for now S location location uh, is the important part so select the location uh, this is for licensing so if you want to assign any license uh, location wise so you can do that 
so if the location is changed automatically license will be removed so for that purpose you can select so i'm going to select india as a location so this can play an important role uh, we will discuss more about the usage uh, location and here we can give the title title i am giving as a manager department it company nova tech and if there is any manager for this user you can select and then create So this is created created the user is created and we can see the notification here uh, successfully created user so we have created this user i will refresh yeah, we can see here the user is there the similar way the auditing sign in logs and sign roles and groups if we want to assign any license or devices so we can see all the properties of this user so this is all about the user part in the next video we will learn how to manage the groups how to manage the uh, groups usage and what types of groups we have in azure ready so that's it in this video and uh, we'll catch up in the next video thank you so much for watching